Hi there, my name is Marky Sparky and welcome back to AlphaCraft. Since the last episode, I have been busy and have done a lot of building. So let's straight up jump into time-lapse mode. Hold on for a minute, editing Marky Sparky here. I have to interrupt the program because this happened. I just woke up one morning to crazy view numbers because apparently my Volcano Island time-lapse video uh, is getting a bunch of views right now and it's still going and that also attracted a bunch of new people to the channel. So I wanted to say hi, welcome to all you new folks, welcome to my channel. I hope you have a great time here, I hope you enjoy the content and yeah, welcome. And I also want to thank the YouTube algorithm gods because, yeah, that's, that's that's the first time something like that happened to me and that's very exciting. I check my numbers every few minutes and, yeah, it's just an interesting experience. It's very funny. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, but enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Enjoy the time lapse. Here I am back. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing that stuff. Um, let's quickly go through. Um, there's more up there, as you can see. We'll see that in a second. Um, yeah, first of all, I I did this and I love it. This little dock area here in the front corner of the storage room. And we have well these nice little boats this is where i had my boat my one boat where i traveled off far into the distance uh to to get acacia wood like in episode two i think i don't know a long time ago and yeah up there we see the nice bridge and here we have this little dock area now with all the little details barrels and uh, well um non-lit campfires um <laughs> anyway, and the uh, copper pillars, and I love that. I, I really, well, when I did the first ones over there, that was like a test, and I, I kind of stuck with it. But now, I I, I do love it. <laughs> and yeah, more barrels and campfire thingies, wood here and there, and more boats, and all kinds of overgrown stuff, and yeah. I really, really like that. Let's quickly fly away and have a look from further away. This is how the whole thing looks now. And I love it. Let's jump here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice little entrance into the place here, there, and there you can see more stuff that is uh, to come. Anyway, this is this part. And uh, when we jump over here, oh, by the way, I put item frames on all the chests. <clears throat> and yeah, I need to do <laughs> uh, the uh, the decisions where I want to sort things into. Um, this nice little area, the second entrance and this nice little waterfall that was there before and I improved that a bit, quite a bit, I think. I love it. It looks amazing, I think. Let's quickly land up here and have a look. Yeah, that. <laughs> It's quite simple, but it works so nicely and well, well stuff like that will appear all around um, Just when I get to those uh, areas like here you can see there is 
a small little spot and we will have like entrances like that down here we will have that on the second floor which we will talk about in a second as well and here we have a bigger entrance and this is not yet detailed here. I don't quite know what to put here. Maybe a workbench area with all kinds of tools, stuff, crafting tables, um, stone cutters, stuff like that maybe. Or another pond. I haven't decided yet. Uh, anyway, uh, so this part is now done as well. Um, <clears throat> kind of. <laughs> and uh, overgrown parts and now all the water streams up there. You can hear them. But you cannot see them anymore so that runs all the way up here and is nicely hidden behind the stone and i have started to um organize stuff here so we have all the stone in here and this is i got so much stone already it's crazy um cobblestone in here also quite a lot and diorite granite all that stuff dirt and i have a lot of cobbled deep slate so all these shulker boxes are full that is what i did down there in, in the in the mine area when i collected all my diamonds that is what we got there that is crazy and also tough which is nice um yeah sand and then a bit of ore i'm not sure yet how i want to do that the iron ore is missing here uh, deciding that stuff is crazy so i have not done that um one change that i did to the storage system is um uh, in the end of the last episode, I had this little piece uh, built here uh, for the items that are not sorted. I changed that now. So this is also connected to sorting modules now. And the items that are not uh, sorted are now actually ending up here, in here. And I got quite a bunch of random stuff in here now. Um, because that makes more sense. Here is our item input. And everything that is not sorted ends up here. And we can put stuff that should be sorted right back in here or have all the other stuff in here as well. So that is what, I do what I've done here now. And you can see there, <laughs> this is where all the items are coming from then. And they end up here. Um, yeah, I have also installed a smelter here with 32 um, uh, furnaces, which is simply um, loaded uh, with... Um, minecarts here very old systems uh, like that is nothing new but it works so up here you put the stuff that you want to smelt down here you put the uh, coal or the uh, to be burned stuff here the um wow fuel <laughs> the fuel <laughs> and these little systems here uh, they basically detect when stuff is loaded into the minecart then with a little delay the trapdoor opens and the minecart runs along. It will go one track and come back here and load again. Yeah, simply because I couldn't figure out a system that would load exactly 32 items. Also because it changed all the time. I don't know, maybe this is with server lag? I have no idea. <laughs> it worked better in my single player testing world. Anyway, it works. It does the job. And we have a furnace now with 32 items. Uh, 32 furnaces. That is quite nice uh, output here. And here in front, so this would be the line where uh, the, the front face of, of this facade will be. We have a lot of space here and I want to maybe add more chest rows here for stuff that is not going to be sorted, but that I want to manually sort, like stuff like stone stairs, slabs, so I have a chest for that, or the same thing for cobble stuff. Stuff that is uh, stupid to, to, to uh, fill up this space, but it's also not going to be sorted into one of these rows. So a bit of manual work will probably be involved, especially since I want to have the storage system mainly for things that will be um, generated in farms upstairs. <laughs> wow, I'm talking a lot here. This is what happens when you just build in between episodes. And yeah, uh, news about my storage system back here so in the last episode i said that it is done well it was not done at all yeah <laughs> so first of all my good friend Jurassic from uh, nevercraft season 2 if you remember um, has contacted me about the item input and he has shown me something um, that separates shulker boxes from standard items so Back then I had two separate inputs, one for shulker boxes, one for single items. Now we have this little sorter module here that is basically simply a shulker box and a dropper that wants to drop the items into the shulker box. And now 
Well, if you know the mechanics of Minecraft, you know that the only item that cannot be put into a shulker box is another shulker box. So that is very useful. So we get our input here and then the uh, dropper here will be triggered to put the item that it just received into the shulker box at the same time, the dropper underneath that would, uh, hopper underneath that would suck the item out of the dropper is locked. And now if that is a single item, it can be placed into the shulker box and then will be moved along here. If not, it will stay in there and then be sucked out. And that would be the full shulker box then. And speaking about full shulker boxes, that works perfectly. But then I realized that my unloader here um, doesn't work with empty shulker boxes, which is very stupid. <laughs> so then an empty shulker box that ends up in the system would clog the system. So I designed a module that separates empty shulker boxes from full shulker boxes. That is that piece up here. All the full shulker boxes get here uh, into that chest, which is the uh, input for the unloader. And all the empty shulker boxes then are transported directly into that water stream that puts all the empty shulker boxes into the empty shulker boxes output, which is this. Yeah, unfortunately, that module doesn't work perfectly because I designed it myself again. I tried to design that stuff myself and I, I, I don't know. I have to see whether this works reliably. I thought it did. I tested this in my testing world. I don't know, maybe also server lag or something. I mean, in the end, it's not that important. I'm not a technical, well, a bit of a technical player, not, but not that much. If it, it gets stuck, sometimes I will just come back here and... Uh, trigger this button which will uh, break the shulker box in the system. If it's empty then it just gets put out and it ends up in the non-stackable items here. So that is fine. Yeah, so that. Wow, now I have talked for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, I've done another thing. As you've seen, there's a hole here in the ceiling and wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> that just gives an idea of how this place will look like. Just imagine now uh, vines hanging down here from this hole and up there, there will be all the farms. So let's take a look on how I excavated that thing. Yeah, so that is it. That is the second floor. I want to have farms up here and the farms, the output of the farms will then directly feed into the storage system. Uh, yeah, let me mark out some things up here. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is my final planning here, but I've marked out some areas and uh, just to note down some ideas. So here on that side, I definitely, and I, thi I think this will be my final decision here. I want a sugarcane farm. Just a very simple long row that then uh, feeds into the storage system below. <laughs> here on that side, maybe, maybe an exit. Here on, on that side is so that you can fly in. And by the way, this is where uh, the uh, staircase uh, leads into the lower area right here. And this will, I think, separate into this direction. Maybe if I have an entrance there, just here into the wall. And on that side onto the wall uh, will lead the entrance here into this area. So entrance from below, just like it is right now, but a little bit nicer here into this upper area here to the outside, probably. So this is that. Then in here, I definitely want to have a flower farm somewhere. I'm not sure if I want, uh, if this will be the final placement for it because the biome has to fit and the flowers have to generate and stuff like that. I have to test that out. But somewhere here in this area, I think would be nice, at least for the planning side of things. Um, a cactus farm. I want to have that more here in the center simply because that thing will be tall and I need a uh, space above. And if we move that to um, the corners here, well, the mountain ends here simply. <laughs> That's not good. Um, a pumpkin and melon farm somewhere in here. 
because I want to use that as the basis for trading with villagers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then maybe here in the center, uh, in the corner, not the center, in the corner, a uh, villager breather with our two friends that we have and more villagers here on the sides to trade with. That is what I'm thinking about now. I definitely want to have a mob farm somewhere below us, way below us, that is constantly running. Not the most efficient thing because it will be constantly running and also feed here into our system uh, because of bone meal simply <laughs> and I don't want to stand down there and uh, well kill skeletons I want to have that automatically running um, yeah in the background that's why I want to have that somewhere as well yeah so this is my uh, thinking process at the moment as I said probably not oh probably not uh, the final planning but at least something is here and I can start working on this floor. But before we do that, I wanted to do one other thing and that has to do with, uh, well, community stuff. Spec has started a gaming district and I wanted to check that out. So let's put that stuff away. That one cobblestone, I could go over there and put it into the right box, but I'm lazy and that's what this system is here for and this will be now transported into the correct thing over here. Um, yeah, let's quickly head over to the shopping district. Actually, let's sleep before that. Okay, here, as you can see, the nether uh, hub is being built at the moment and I want to head in here because from the shopping district we can see or oh, we can actually try and find uh, the gaming uh, district. By the way, there is a uh, mail um, box post office here now and we actually have stuff what is that books and honey now for sale at bearded estates ah nice okay we have seen that light goes off no more mail for us okay uh gaming district i believe it's behind these mountains so let's take a look somewhere somewhere here there should be, yes, uh, that, no, wait, that is Specs building competition thingy. I thought it was about here. Where is it? That looks awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no, 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 spider, leave me be. Wow, crazy. <laughs> Wow, uh, but not what I was looking for, but uh, amazing cave system. Look at that pillar. Crazy. Anyway, not at all what I was looking for. Um, maybe back here still somewhere, somewhere over here. Come on, please let me find it. Ah, ah, that looks better. Okay, there's an actual path going over here. Nice. Yes, there we have it. This is our gaming district. That is really close to us, actually. We are just over here, I believe. Let's quickly have a look. So this is, yeah, that's the valley that I was in in uh, the first episode, which I definitely want to build stuff in here. Um, we are just over here. This is our little area, right there. And the gaming district is just over the mountains. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so let's check this out. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> um, so we have this little centerpiece here, which is quite nice. <laughs> little dragon kind of... Dragon head. Yeah, that's a dragon head, right? <laughs> that spills out the water. That is amazing. And we can have a path. Leading to our area. From here all the way over there. We will do that in the future, I think. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Uh, so this is something. Um, and then Spec has built two things in here already. Let's check them out. Okay, so I believe this is a simple carousel, if that's the right name. And you sit on these things and this is how it moves, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah, so um, now we slowly move along <laughs> and ha have a good time, right? Yeah, spec, you need to add some music here. <laughs> I will definitely add some music here in the post-processing. Yep. Anyway, that is one thing that has been added. Let's stop it right again. Yeah, let's stop it. Yep. Carousel! <laughs> I love the design in there. That is amazing. Yeah, so this is one thing. And then the other thing is up here, a working ferris wheel. And if I got that right, you have to stand on the honey block. And when you do, that should work, right? Yeah, it does work. It's a bit slow though. <laughs> no, I just fell down. I wasn't that one. Oh, let's try and get back up there. I want to make a full lap. I try to make a full lap. Okay, can we can we get onto that? Uh, I guess we have to wait until this thing is is uh, is moved aside. Yep. Now, hello, <laughs> back on it. Again. I have fallen off again <laughs> and I I definitely pressed shift this time. Uh, maybe it's my ping? I don't know. Ah, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess we will not make the full lap then. Sadness, sadness. Um, yeah. But guys, this is going to be it from my side today i hope you have enjoyed this episode i had a fun time uh, building my base further and yeah uh, also fun start for the gaming district right here if you know of any games that i can add to this let me know down in the comments and also if you know of any farms that i definitely need in my base that i have totally forgotten about <laughs> let me know please let me know anyway yeah as i said this is going to be it from my side this week i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and you know the stuff leave a comment like the video subscribe if you haven't done that already all that stuff and yeah see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>